morning we're going to talk about kind of a neat invention, a patented invention. These things come in two sizes. It's called the Rose Index. This is the larger size. It's the R12A hobbyist. And this is a smaller one. This is the R11A. It's much tinier. Now these things are made in such a way you've got a square, you've got a hexagon, and you've got an octagon. Now what I'm going to do here I've already done some setup here on the milling machine. I'm going to demonstrate basically what we need to do to drill a very large, very long barrel blank muzzle for a muzzle brake. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this rose index on this on this barrel. Now, what we have to do here, we have to use a square. You take this square, you set it on there, set it up against the surface. In this instance, I've got it set against the hexagon side because I'm going to basically drill holes, 12 rolls of holes. And to start off, I have to drill six rows of holes, four holes in each row. And then I'm going to index this 30 degrees to change my hole situation. And I turn the barrel, you see. So anyway, what I've done... I've set up a square here. I've set up a square. The square is setting on the mill table and it's on the surface. I need to reposition this just ever so slightly. Get it precise. Anyway, now when I change things, when I change things to another position, right now I've got a magnetic base. I've got a magnetic base with an upright rod against the end of the blank so that everything remains the same. And once I've drilled the row of holes and then I turn it basically 60 degrees. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to Loosen up the vise here, and I'm going to turn the rose index 60 degrees. Okay? Now that gives me the second row of holes, and so on and so on. I go from 0, 60 degrees, 120, 180, 240, 300, back to 0, you see, to get around the barrel six times and then once I've done that then I can take a protractor and set my protractor if I set my protractor at 30 degrees 30 degrees being one half of 60 at that position. Basically set this up. Now I can loosen the I can loosen this barrel again here. You see the reposition from 60 to 30 degrees. Now simply all that we're doing is repositioning this get this repositioned now I slide slide the protractor on here 
hold it with my hand, basically turn this, turn this, got to extend this just somewhat, so it gets across the entire surface. Now I've got that all set right there. Now everything is set at 30 degrees. And you go around that six times. Each time that you do that, you've got to set the protractor on there. I have a very thick parallel here. I set this on the parallel and just simply line this all up. To see this protractor lines right up on that surface. Now the, the face of the rose index is marked off every one degree, so 360 degrees it's marked off. Every one degree, so 360 degrees it's marked off. And anyway, this enables me to be able to do some things with this oversized piece of material, this being a rifle barrel, to be able to do some machine work. Now I'm using it to drill holes. You could also use it to octagon something, to hexagon something, or to square something. Because basically you've got the three you've got the three surf the three surfaces here, the square, the octagon, and the hexagon. And as I say, you can change that. You can change that, basically, and take advantage. Instead of having six sides, you see, I'm going to have 12 rows of holes, and I end up with 12 rows of holes by simply moving this from the original position by moving it 30 degrees. So this is what we have here. This is a very, very handy situation. There are simple machining and milling and drilling procedures that simply can't be done in you know some of these normal fashions so this individual has invented this and patented it and anyway i find it very handy especially with a job like this being able to you know machine the muzzle brake in this barrel now my indexing fixture and whatnot here it takes collets but the collets only go to an inch and a sixteenth but this barrel is one in four hundred od so it won't fit in a collet so i can't index it in my indexing fixture because there's nothing made that will allow me to do so and i'm taking advantage of things here because i'm using my mill vise i've got the barrel supported on the other end here you know, so that when I turn this, things just don't go wiggity wobbity around and are in the wrong position. This will work very, very well. I'm not going to go clear through and drill all these holes. I'm describing to you basically how this works. Now, if you want to learn more about the Rosenthal Rose Index, you simply you know, we'll put a link on our site how to contact this individual to be able to buy one of these, one of these, or both of these inventions to be able to do these machining procedures. Now, this fellow that invented this, he's a machinist, he has his own machine shop, and he found a need basically in his machine shop, just like I find. In my gun shop, in my machine shop, you see a need for something in the way of a fixture to do a machining procedure that really can't be done very, you know, readily by any other method. And these are these are relatively in, inexpensive. I can't tell you what the exact amount is. You just definitely have to go to to. Rosenthal's site and look up the information and if you need one machinist a gunsmith whatever it might happen to be you know you can order one 
by going to that site. And you know the possibilities here are really quite quite endless. And you know, for instance, you could instead of having straight rows of holes, you could index this a certain amount and actually have a, a spiral of holes, an advancing spiral of holes around something by simply indexing things like I showed you here by taking advantage of the situation of a protractor and a parallel, you know, using your milling machine, your mill vise and so forth with proper support and, and so on and this will work very very well. You can probably think of other procedures that might, you know, be handy for you in whatever you might happen to do and as you use one of these you'll probably even think of other aspects where it's going to become very handy to use. So anyway, there you have it, this new patented invention, the Rose Index by Rosenthal Industries. So anyway, but thank you.